What quarterback do you hate to face? Who's the guy you're like, fuck? I he said Joe guy. Burrow, so you can't say Joe Burrow. Oh, because they good. Yes. Who uh, do you hate to face because you're like, oh, God, here we go. Shit. Uh, Lamar Jackson. Oh. Yeah. Just because you can't really do much, man. <laughs> you can't really do much. Watching him play, I mean, it feels like every couple minutes he just makes a play or he makes your draw drop. You look at the defense, like, what are we supposed to do? with that guy uh, and I think he's really improved from throwing the football down the field and I mean he's a one of the premier players in our league that I love watching because you can't do everything that you can do and so you can you have a guy like that that I think is good for the league Early this morning at Kennedy Airport, the flag sadly come to symbolize a style of music that has captivated millions of Americans. If you were a defensive coordinator, how would you stop him? <laughs> Getting asked that, because I guess everybody's trying to figure out how to stop Lamar. The first thing, you got to have the personnel group. Lamar is a special guy, man. You know, he, he he's doing everything that he's supposed to do with the ball. You know, and that, that it factor is, he is it. <laughs> His game, that, that has surprised you, or what stands out to you which makes him so special? Well, I think, you know, his clutch gene, you know. I think, at the end of the day, to be great, you got to have a clutch gene. I think he has it. You know, when the game's online, he wants to find a way to make the play, whether it's throwing or running, and he, he's got it all. Um, you know, he's, he's spectacular, and he's been able to do a lot of things, and uh, he's going to be a great player along, along the way. What is unique a challenge as there is to go against individually in, in the league? Absolutely, because he's uh, a top five athlete, but also a you know, top five quarterback. So you know, he can really do it all, but it's through the air with his feet. <clears throat> is there a little extra juice when you go against him, just kind of knowing like the challenge he is? Yeah, I mean, it's a big challenge. You know him, Ronnie being back. How you have to rush him uh, because of his illusions? Just can't open up too many, too many uh, escape lanes from. You know, even if you feel like you know you're, you're rushing at the level, you know, he'll you know dip behind you. If you feel like you're you know rushing and you don't counter back you know, quick enough, then he's he's gonna step up and go go in the big guy. Yeah, me, Lamar, um, Zach, um, pretty much Mark Andrews, everybody over there still. So it's a. It's a version of a homecoming a little bit, you know. <laughs> How have you seen Lamar develop in the NFL since his first year? Um, now I think he takes care of his body a lot more, eating right, uh, working out the way he should. Um, he's always been a natural leader, but I think he's taken on the role of a leader. Uh, he's, an MVP, he's an MVP player. He's fantastic. He's back in, back in the day they would say the, the marvelous. So. He's great, and um, all you can do is try to contain him. There's no stopping Lamar Jackson, but you can try to contain, contain him as much as you can. Yeah, man, I'm a huge Lamar Jackson fan, man. Uh, I remember the first time watching him, I was, uh, I think I was in like middle school, and that video came out, he was running on the sideline. He like stepped back, and he went to the end zone, he, like just put his hands up. I was like, man, who is this dude? Like, he's nice. Um, but something that has always like intrigued me about him, I think he's a very, very underrated passer. Um, I think he's very, very accurate, especially down the field. Um, and of course, his running ability speaks for himself, but I think he's very smart. I think he, he's very smart than, than what people give him credit for. Um, I mean, you see it on, on tape. I mean, he, he had a hell of a rookie year. I've, I've watched his rookie season games a couple times, and um, the way that he can operate um, and, and run the ball, of course, but at the same time, just be very, very um, deliberate and accurate um, in, his, in his throwing is very, very cool to me. So I've been a big fan of his. And, and um, Lamar, everybody knows he's a great quarterback, you know, dynamic playmaker. So, I mean, just having my name, you know, with those two guys would, would be As great. As an opposing quarterback, it's so frustrating to watch him on the field because it's third and 15. It doesn't matter. Like, it could yeah. first and 10, third and 15, basically the same thing, you know, like making plays with his feet. I mean, there was a couple times he was sacked in the backfield, but then he wasn't, you know, and he's finding a way to get out and he's That's outrunning me. everybody. But some of his throws he made the other day too were unbelievable. Some second window throws, I mean, around Tremaine, only where his guy can get it. Um, the dude's a baller. And there's only a few, really few guys in the league like 
that it doesn't matter what down or distance it is, like they've always got a chance and he's he's one of those guys. And above all else, like you can tell how teammates respond to a guy. Yeah. Right? I'm saying they all rally around him. You know, he just has this unique ability to make his teammates around him play better than what they normally would be. And I know he has a, a team full of ballers, but he just all the great leaders like you, like you know, all the other great quarterbacks, Lamar, they just have this knack to rise up, like have their teammates rise up to a level that they wouldn't normally play. He kind of adjusted how he plays. He's, throughout the year on tape, he was kind of sitting in the pocket and going through his reads in the pocket. Tonight, I think he was looking for that escape lane quicker and then finding guys downfield, which was super impressive um, that he could kind of change the way he played. Um, and yeah, that's something we just have to do better. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah! How did he get throw off? How did he get that throw off? He switched hands. He switched hands. Twice, twice. He just faked it and just threw it. Yeah, his, his feet did not move at all. Why did it? His feet just stay there. Step. <laughs> at least he steps and throws it. It's the never, tiniest little easiest throw I've ever seen that. I've never seen that. A, a I, I couldn't do that. But young quarterbacks, don't watch that. That is not normal. That is not easy to do. Just get your feet set. Lamar Jackson is different. He's special. He can make those kind of throws. You can't. I mean, I think it just depends on the personality. I think with some guys, probably so. I mean, it's it's how you step in the huddle. It's your control. It's the moxie. It's confidence. But there's just some things you kind of boxes. I feel like you have to check. And, and one of them is being able to sling it. You know, I think... Um, I was talking to somebody earlier. I think just being able to, to, to throw the ball at a high level, it can make up for a lot of different things. Like you look at Lamar, and as talented as Lamar is athletically, I mean, the guy's one of the fastest guys in the league. But you watch him in college, and he can sling that thing. I mean, he could really sling the ball. Um, big time arm. I mean, throwing up 75, 80 yards. And, and um, so he just knew, like, one, he's supremely athletic. Two, he can really throw it. So, like, footwork-wise, he's going to figure it out, you know, with coaching and getting into offense and time of his feet with the drops. Like, to me, that wouldn't have been a big issue. You just see the athletic ability and things you just can't coach. Now, you interesting to see, like, his personality, how he's in the huddle, and obviously that's all worked out. He's MVP now, and, and he's had a nice, really nice start to his career. But, but just having kind of the basics – uh, being able to move a little bit and extend plays, that's kind of the league we're in now. I mean, there's less and less kind of statues back there at quarterback like there was maybe in the early, late 90s and early 2000s. Um, you know, big arm guys who just kind of stood in the pocket. Now there's a lot more guys who extend plays and move around. But being able to, to make those NFL throws, a lot of times it takes kind of seeing seeing that in person in a camp. You know, throwing I think Bosa mentioned that he thought that Lamar was doing different things than what you saw in film previously. Did you feel the same way? Uh, definitely. I mean, hell of a quarterback. Um, you know, just gotta go back to the drawing boards. I mean, like I said, a lot of it was just, you know, really good, you know, really smart by him. You know, I think he recognized that we were a man and, you know, they kind of uh, ran some seams and, and got us all. Uh, going against our, our guy and, and took off and, um, you know, he's really special and fast. But it's been like this conversation all with Lamar Jackson and Patrick Mahomes after on Monday. It was just fun to be part of that conversation with Jackson, you know, Mahomes, Watson, that type of who's the best, you know, type of deal. Yeah, I think just the the league in general and the quarterbacks that are in this league right now and the quarterback play. I mean, it's such a at such a high level, and so you see every single year it seems like someone else is coming out and putting their stamp on on the game and how and how you can go about having success here. And Lamar is playing at an extremely high level right now. Not only what he's able to do with his legs, but the way he's able to get in the pocket and hit these seam throws and hit these shots down the field. And you can understand that with the more and more experience he's gotten, he's really understanding what defenses are trying to do to him. And so I think just with him, he's playing at a great level. the right game now. today, who, who is playing the closest to prime Vic? It's Lamar hands down, man. And I know you spent a lot of time with Lamar. I know you was a part of that growth process. You, Jay Irv, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, they had a room, they have, you know, that veteran experience in the room, a guy that's speaking and you can relate to, right. and he, he went through a lot of things that, man, that that's 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 big, that's invaluable. You can't get that. And, and so, 
Now, y'all add to that and watching him now grow into, you know, a, a, a pure passer of the football, managing the game and changing the game. Like, come on, he ain't, no, I ain't just pulling it down and running every chance he get or trying to make a big play. He checking it down in the flat, and, and it's like, this, you know, this, this is what it's supposed to look like. So, you know, I feel like Lamar is, is, is certainly the closest to, like, prime, you know, it's a prime victim. And I agree with you with Lamar. Like, his stats are down as far as, like, touchdown passes and maybe yards from, like, his MVP year in 2019. Yeah. But you're, yeah. you're 100% correct. He is managing the game so much better than he was in the past. Because uh, I've seen him make some some crazy plays. Like, he had that spin move yeah. against the Bengals. Last uh, week, it, yeah. I mean, it, last week and also he had the spin move uh, years ago. Just all season. That uh, I'm like, bro, yeah. I was on the sideline, this run he had, I think it was 2019 against the Bengals, and he did a spin move like 30 yards down the field and then ran it for a touchdown. Yeah. And I'm on I'm on the yeah, sideline and, and, and I made some crazy plays, bro. You done made some crazy plays. I yeah. ain't never seen a play like that before. My jaw was yeah. on the ground. <laughs> Especially I'm, when you see it right there in live. I'm like, bro, what is what is really going on? What did, what did he just do? That type of special. Exactly. You are going to be facing the Ravens defense, but you seem to be very complimentary of, of Lamar Jackson. Yep. At, at what point you even put on social media, you're next. What did you mean by that? And what do you see out of him? He's an amazing player, and he challenges defense. He's uh, has really unique skill set. Uh, his ability to, you know, improvise, make plays with his legs, extending plays, and uh, you know they do a good job with that offense. So they have a good defense. They run the ball extremely well. He's obviously very dangerous with the ball in his hands, and they've got some weapons too. So it's a tough challenge for our defense. We're gonna have to play a real uh, complimentary game. Play tough, hard-nosed football and try to get a win. What compelled you to, to say to him you're next? I just think very highly of him. You know, I think he's a he's got a great future.